Hi, this is Andy Bauer at Object Arts. Some time ago I put together an experimental 3D package for Dolphin Smalltalk uh, that makes use of the True Vision 3D DLL library. Um, following a request in the Dolphin News Group, I thought it was about time to actually uh, put together a video that shows you how to install and use this. So this first video is to show you how to install it into Dolphin Smalltalk. First of all, you need to download the installer from uh, the link that's on the screen now, um, aragon3dsetup.exe in our downloads directory. Uh, it's quite a big uh, installer, about uh, 70 megabytes, mainly due to the size of the 3D resources in the file. So I've already downloaded this and uh, got it on my desktop here. Let's run the installer. Okay, well let's next through this. Now I'm going to choose to install it into a slightly different uh, directory because I have several versions of Dolphin on my machine. So I'm installing it into my 6.1 beta 2 directory. And let that run. Okay, now one of the things uh, about this is uh, that it won't run in the, the standard 6.0 release of Dolphin. Uh, you will need to have 6.1 beta 2, uh, which unfortunately means that uh, at the moment, since there is no community edition version of this, uh, community edition users won't be able to make use of it. But if you're a professional user, download the, uh, the beta 2 version and uh, launch that. And then the first thing you need to do is to, um, is to install a small patch file. If you choose File In, and go to the directory where your image is locating, which is where you would have installed the uh, Aragon 3D package. You should see these two new directories, Aragon 3D and TV3D. Uh, open the TV3D directory and file in this patch file, 6.1 B3 patch. Okay, that doesn't do anything else apart from uh, modify a few methods. Um, and then you can use the package browser to load up the various packages. And choose install package. Now go to the Aragon 3D directory and if you choose the miscellaneous models package that should bring in most of the others as prerequisites. Okay, close the package browser. Now in the system folder if you look in sample applications you should see a new icon, Aragon 3D. Double click that to launch the platform, and here we have it. Over here we have the 3D window, it's currently running at uh, frames per second of about 300. Um, you should find yours will run faster than this depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, I'm running in an emulator on the Macintosh Parallels uh, virtual machine, so mine's a bit slower than perhaps it will otherwise be. Over here you have a properties window. Uh, an assets window, which where you can drag 3D assets, and a script window. So let's just uh, just to get goes going. Choose the assets tab, click on um, ground, and let's drag across a ground into the 3D window. Click on skies. Let's drag across the sky. And if we wanted to add a quick object in there, choose miscellaneous over here and we'll add a sphere into the window. Okay, that's probably enough for now, showing you how to get the system up and running, and uh, I'll put together another short video which takes you through the various controls for using this um, Aragon 3D uh, platform.